Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here. I think it's the uh, 5th, 05 December. Quiet night overnight, 77.86 in Euro dollar. Let's look at this Euro dollar chart. What the fuck? I mean, sorry, I'm not supposed to swear. Uh, what the banana? <sighs> Man, we had this thing loaded up. Uh, through 92, through 95, uh, we bought O2s, and uh, ISM, I thought it was relatively weak, it certainly wasn't strong, um, and then just, just didn't like it up there. I mean, how many times is this going to happen this year that the DXY has a false break? Here's our old friend, the DXY, false break up here, false break down here. False break down here, false break up here, you know, crazy. Um, we really thought this was going to go, uh, and it didn't. So I'm beginning to wonder if we learned the same thing yesterday that we learned down at 109.85 uh, in Euro. So let's bring this back. So this bar here told us that it didn't like it down there. This bar here is telling us it doesn't like it up here. Um, we are not going to be short euros through 66, uh, but, you know, it could happen. Uh, we're more likely to buy again through, uh, through 15 up on the top side, but we're going to leave euro alone for now. Cable uh, was a little bit more generous, broke through 11 very cleanly, obviously. Uh, we've traded up to 18 now again today. Uh, no reason for this to turn around. Uh, should just sort of keep going. Not many people have this trade on. Uh, do we head for 133.80 pre-election? I don't think so. Um, but you can just trade this from the long side. Uh, and you can now probably job it a little bit looking for this... Um, 13170 high to cap it so you you want to sell some of your longs between 30 and 70 and then try and get them back cheaper it is cable after all so it does move around a bit uh, so you can continue to play this on the long side uh, but there's also no shame if you just cashed in and took the money uh, it was a big move yesterday and on this kind of year when vol is so low wasn't like this a watershed change in event that caused this it's just technicals uh, that caused it so if you're square then you can also just move on happily um, this is what we've done so we, we we've just squared our longs and we're moving on happily on the cable trade dollar yen um, we're stubbornly uh, we stubbornly sold highs last night worked out kind of you know we sold uh, 78s and 88s uh, trying to retain the short bias in dollar yen because of this bearish engulfer here at the beginning of the week um, we'll see how that goes today super quiet obviously 77.93 overnight not too much uh, to see there how about that Aussie yen yesterday my god those fucking tweets I mean those those darn tweets um, you know, we broke this famous trend line here, but just got tweeted out of it, right? So trade deal saved to tweet. Um, that one stung a bit. There was some slippage on the exit. Um, mildly unpleasant, but, um, I'm going to keep this line out here just as a as a reminder of when this trend changes. Aussie yen didn't go anywhere in the end. We're just sitting here at 40. Just a reminder of um, what's driving this market is um, a bunch of tweets or Bloomberg headlines, uh, the global flow of money or the global macro story is not driving um, fixed income or equities. It's just tweets about the trade deal. So if that pisses you off, grow up. This is just the reality. Hawkish 
BOC yesterday. We did not participate in this. Um, they did nothing, and I guess it was mildly hawkish. I was I wasn't paying too much attention because I had the euros on uh, up through the figure. But boy, that's a bearish bar in dollar CAD. But we're right back in the middle of nowhere here, so I don't know what to do with dollar CAD. Um, but just to say that they didn't do anything with rates. There was no presser, so I don't know what was so hawkish about it. I didn't follow it super closely, uh, but that's a uh, it's a bearish bar, dollar cad. Let's take a look at um, this chart, dollar czar. If stocks are higher and if the dollar in general is going lower, you could take a stab at this triple bottom here. We're keeping an eye on. Um, not close at the moment. Looks like we traded down to 53, but I don't think that's true. No, that was yesterday. Sorry, You've done nothing today. Um, we're just going to keep a quiet eye on this level. I think there's going to be some money to be made, um, basically because this is where anyone who's long, um, and I would say the quote-unquote smart money is long dollars are, um, it's the end of the year. This is where they're going to leave their stop. People... People aren't going to take extra pain or dig in um, on their trades at this time of year. So we expect some action here uh, below 50. Yes, traded all the way up to 18 yesterday. So we have now we have a bunch of highs here, 20, 18, back down to 10. <laughs> Um, we're still thinking short side here, but we're just selling high ones. We made, we just made zero yesterday. We kept selling high ones and taking them back and selling high ones and then stopping out, selling high ones, taking them back. Uh, the p &L was flat. This little cliff here looks like, uh, our big resistance. So it's, you're in this funny place here. What do you do? You know, you, you're going to sell 3110s and leave a stop at 3140. Um, so right now we're, the tactical book uh, is square. S&Ps for the day. Um, we do have some downside structures on still. But tactically, you just have to wait for a better setup. Boons. Um, we had 7122 offers in then we canceled them. That uh, is regrettable. But still core short. Um, Boone's not doing anything. Just in the middle of nowhere here. Um, you were just going to be core short Boone's, I think, until Boone's go to 1%. Uh, yield positive 1%. So this is just an ongoing story. The tactical book is not short. We are core short in a long-term book. We missed the sell level up here because we kind of thought we were going to break these uh, 7160 highs uh, and take out some stops there. But we will be selling on the 171 handle at some point if we're up there, um, just on the tactical book, but still core short boons. That's about it. We got trade data out of... Um, Canada today, we got trade data out of the U.S. Neither of those move the markets too, too much. We've got some employment data out of Europe. Also, not really much of a market mover. Um, GDP, third estimate, again, not, not a huge mover. Retail sales out of Europe, again, sort of a moderate, moderate mover. Nothing really, uh, nothing really to shake the trees here. Uh, you got to keep your eye on the news feed and wait for the U.S. stock market, I think, for the action today. So be patient in Europe. And let's wait for the Yanks. Cool. All right, that's all I got for today. Uh, listen, if you like these videos, remember, subscribe. Uh, if we don't get to 1,000 subscribers, uh, I told the guy in March we'd get there. We'd get there for March. Uh, if we don't, we're going to take this thing private, so um, tell your dog, tell your cousin, 
tell your second, third, and fourth wives, um, please subscribe. Later.